got me a new cup. It has a wolf on it. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolf. So, hey, what's up? It's your boy Divine Marley here with another YouTube video for today. For today, for you, for us, for spirit, you know, for life. Uh, in today's video, I just want to start off with a question. With a question. Um, so, the question is, what has the storm and the rain in your life done to you and for you? And I actually mean the bad things in life, the things, you know, that hurt you and broke you in your life and also put you in a dark, negative spot. You know, those uh, clouds come, come over our head or in our mind and they make things cloudy and foggy. It's hard to see that sunlight and, hard to see, and it's hard to see the light. We got those clouds in front of us. But, you know, I feel like the clouds, the clouds just bring, bring the rain. And the question was, what does the rain, the storm do for you? What is the Dharma or the purpose of the rain? I feel like when it rains, you know, I always say nature is our best teacher. So when it rains, I say the rain is not for now, the rain is for later. There is a delayed effect when it comes to the rain, the rain pour and what it does for the environment and for the life that needs rain or everybody needs uh, rain. Uh, rain is, I feel like, almost the beginning. Water is like the cycle of life, the beginning of it. Uh, water, you can say, is like the perfect example of the cycle of life because it changes its form, uh, whether that's rainfall, uh, condensation, evaporation, or whatever the case may be when it comes to water. So I feel like when it comes to the delayed effect, what water does to an environment, what the storm has done to you, you know, um, the environment is not just the, you know, the physical one that we are in. Uh, for me, the physical one I'm talking about in this case is our actual body. You know, what has, um, I'll say our, I'll say mind, body, and spirit. You know, what has, what has the storms in our life done for us you know the bad times the times when things was hard where we had to lean on a friend uh for help or for advice and we had to take some time to you know get back to our old self or our better self or what we wanted to be in life i feel like everything or i don't feel like that i, I kind of like know everything you know takes time in life i always say i always say uh what is it today started yesterday Today started yesterday. That means that you wouldn't sleep in your bed. Everything was already prepped for you to go and tackle today and go throughout today. You know, your job was already set up. You didn't have to go build a warehouse all that in one day. No, you had to go there. That's who you are because it was already set up in the past for you to do the work that you need to do in that environment. So I feel like everything is set up. The storm itself uh, is a it's a start of a setup, a setup of an environment for you to grow and to truly uh, benefit uh, on the outside and the inside. So I feel like you start to change your mind uh, state or the way you think on the now. Like sometimes the now, we can be so stuck in the now. It's like, hey, what's happening now? All we see is bad. But you know, life, I feel like in time it exists in multiple stages, uh, past, present, and future. So, you know, what do we do in the now or what's happening in the now will always affect the future, you know, or play a role in the future. That's the delay effect. That's the cycle of life. That's like the law of karma, the law of uh, what you do. You sow what you reap uh, in life and in the garden of life and the fruits of your labor labor will become what you consume in your mind, body, and spirit. And I want to make this video because I feel like a lot of people, uh, a couple of my friends, uh, a couple of people I talk with as well, uh, people I just meet on a daily basis, probably even myself, to be honest. Um, sometimes I go through this thing where it's like hard to sit down and find that peace. But, you know, I feel like peace itself is a process and you have to work on yourself in private 
Or sometimes I feel like when you go out and even explore and just talk to other people, sometimes the inner work is happening which I, without you even knowing it. You may walk away and like, I didn't get nothing out of that, nothing out of that conversation. But later alone, later alone in life, later on in life, you uh, it comes back to you. And you can express and you can share whatever that uh, feeling, that memory was, or that action, that story with someone else, or even with yourself to you know rejuvenate, refresh, and uh, enlighten and uplift your spirit. So I think that's truly amazing. You know that uh, <laughs> work is a process. Work can't easy. Everything be fast and no. Nah. Sometimes some plants take like two to three years to grow. Cactuses don't need water for like six, three months. They still can like survive. You know, they got that uh, ability to hold on to water for longer, you know, conserve that energy. Kind of like the uh, the sloth. You know, a sloth doesn't really even uh, use its muscles to move. Like he has his claws to just hang. Like he moves so slow. I think a sloth moves like five yards in an hour. Something like that, five feet in an hour. That's like... Like, bro, where are you going? Like, a sloth uses energy to do what it has to do to eat and to poop. And somehow it still survives with nature. High above the clouds. High above the clouds. Not clouds. <laughs> high above the uh, trees and the branches. That way it doesn't get eaten by things like leopards and jaguars. And somehow the super slow being is able to live, you know? Like a turtle. It's, that's so crazy. Or a tortoise. Uh, they have a defense mechanism that's unique to them. I think that's truly amazing. Mm. And that sloth working is like a, um, it takes time to for him to go and to eat and to poop. It probably take him like three hours just to hit the ground. Probably longer than that, probably like four or six, probably like, i say eight hours. It's a, it's a tree is four, okay, you say 20 feet tall. Tree 20 feet tall, he moves at five feet per hour. So it takes them, what, four hours to hit the ground to poop. Probably take them like an hour to poop. Probably poops and cleans up. It takes them a whole day to poop. I feel like it takes them a whole day to poop. Like, <laughs> like could you imagine if it took you a whole day to poop? Like, oh my God, that's crazy. That's a life of sloth though. Uh, and to get back in tree, to the top of the tree and stay out there. It just was crazy to me, but yeah. So, you know, use your time wisely. Uh, use the rain, that storm wisely. Uh, I always ask myself and I ask God, you know, uh, why? Like, why is the storm happening right now? Because uh, in a sense, you know, we can't see. Well, all we see is obstacles and traumas and problems and pain in front of us. And that's saying, no, all those pain and problems become process, becomes the process, the progress, and the production, you know, that we put out. So I find that truly uh, amazing. Mm. And the purpose, you know, purpose, practice, trust, patience, and discipline. Mm. I know, I know one thing, Mother Nature, the ground may, like, love when it rains. It's like, ooh, the rain's coming, I'm about to give these plants what these need, what they need, these trees, so these people can get these, this fruit that they love to eat. These vegetables that are very nutritionist for them. Uh, so, you know, what's the purpose of the storm? I'm going to ask you that question again. Uh, what's the purpose of the storm? What's the purpose of the rain? It's not meant to break you, to water you down. It's meant to fill you, to build you. Probably uh, wet the dirt so you can build you a castle later on that dries. And now you have a foundation. Now you have a place to stay and defend yourself put up those boundaries so i feel like we just have to switch uh in perspective to i would say the positive or something that's more productive to you i feel like that would be you know better more amazing uh, to you and to the others around you <laughs> bring peace into an environment bring bring peace into your mind your body and your soul because that's truly amazing you know so peace peace Mm. Mm. Tease like this hot today, so I'm just, I'm just chugging, just chug, chug, chug it, chug it, chug it. Woof, woof, 
Woof, woof, woof, woof, woof, woof, woof. Sorry. But yeah. Get your water, drink your water, live good, take care of yourself, take care of your environment, inner and outer. Uh, whether that's going to be your home, your workplace, your body, your yard, try to take care of it. You know, bring a piece, a piece of peace into your environment, into yourself, and go through that hard time. Sometimes, even myself, I get called to work going through stuff like, hey, I don't want to be here. But in the, the day, I know it serves a purpose, it serves a dharma, you know, uh, to, I say, this divine plan. Sometimes we can't see the bottom of the, of the pond um, or the water clearly or the fish because it's too much, too much dirt, but it's too much dirt, too much fog, too much clouds, but that's not a bad thing. So just keep that in mind, just push through. And you know the sun is always shining whether you see it or not. That light and that fire within you is always burning whether you see it or not. You just gotta realize it. You know, warm yourself up from it and move from it and go from there. So. Yeah, so if you made it this far in this video, I'm gonna say thumbs up to you because you are a real one for watching this. You know, we all real, but you know, you a real, real one. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'll say like and subscribe if you already, uh, if you haven't done so already. You know, you can find me at Divine Marley on Instagram, Divine Marley on Twitter, I believe is my Twitter hand, uh, handle as well. Uh, yeah. Those are those are my two social medias that I really give out. If I give out those two, you can basically find everything else. And also my social medias are down in my uh, description below. So you can find me there. And also check out my website. And I got some I got some plans coming up for my website and for uh my nonprofit organization that I had an idea. Uh it's been an idea for a while and I kinda of worked on it before, but really didn't get too in depth. So pray for your boy that you know, I have that dharma, that trust, and that pra that practice, and that you know, uh, that patience uh, to you know, and a discipline to get through what I need to get through, so I can be a more of a light for this world, um, not just for myself, for this world. Because you know, we need these these people that uplift us. Even me myself, some people say I'm the most positive person that they meet, but sometimes I have to go to my friends. Sometimes I have to uplift myself up. You want me to be truly honest? Because uh, if you know me, you know my past hasn't been the best thing or the perfect uh, perfect life. Uh, but, you know, it made me who I am. And I'm truly grateful and I uh, have gratitude for that. And it made me who the person I It made me the person who I am today. I truly wouldn't change my life uh, for anything else uh, in this life. Whether that's another person's shoes, another person's money, pocket, hairstyle, looks, whatever the case may be. I love my family. I love my friends. I love the life that I live, and I live the life that I love, and um, it's gonna stay that way, and it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be truthful, it's gonna be on honest, still it's gonna be full, fulfilling, it's gonna be all of the above and all that I want it to be, and all that's gonna have purpose behind it. So, trust and believe me, your boy gonna be good, cause your boy gonna push through, and your boy gonna make it. I wanna be one hundred and something years old. I wanna be able to uh, play with my kids and my grandkids, you know, live a long life. So yeah, that's the end of my story. But peace. Take care. Sip some tea. Drink some water. Don't get that rain in you.